nur in Demut ihn betrachten. Ja? Oh, and then immediately back. Okay. Wandle. Wandle. Wandle, teure Bahnen, nur betrachten deinen Schein. tells you about it. And if you're intelligent, you teach yourself to sing. I've learned as much what not to do as what to do by watching other singers. grows and your understanding of the muscular control because singing is like weightlifting it's lifting sound into place and sometimes that sound has to fill the very big cavity of a hall and you have to know how much pressure to put behind and not do it all the time because you have to save it for the moments when you really need it <laughs> possibilities to be more dramatic and when the more opera you do you'll find that it says a little more whisper quando you know when you say you go so speed so speed little shivers should go up and yeah. down the spine it would be also good for you to learn a few french rules i'll tell you why because as i told you before in french it's 60 percent words and 40 percent music and it makes you throw the diction out you have a tendency sometimes to compensate to make sound and no consonants beginning in the end of the words. Yes. Part of it is because Armenian is that kind of a language too. It's a wonderful warm sound like Russian. But uh, <laughs> French and German make you spit out the words. I don't like your vowel and I'm sure everybody in the audience will say, it's, you sort of jar people when you do that. You never, if you're going to sing a forte note, mm -hmm. sing it mezzo forte and developing into the note. Why did she do that so loud? <laughs> sort of, you, know, uh, you wake, you wake the husbands up who are falling asleep, but it doesn't it serve its purpose. All right, okay. <laughs> young people who are doing something that's going to become a very bad stumbling block and I can cure it in one suggestion to them. many retards at the end of each phrase. <laughs> Something that's 
three little phrases in that I've said. Are you saying, is that the first? Or was that the yes. second? Yes. Was that the third? Do I come in now? <laughs> sort of in your mind, you go, the first one. And you know that you're going to give it to the audience. Ew, the little hell stuff. I don't want to say, I don't want to see the panic in your eyes. Also, something I noticed about you, you're kind of singing with your shoulders like this. If you sing like this, you're kind of stuck with that position. And standing like this, as so many young singers do, is awful, you know? The better the carriage is, the, the freer the breath comes from the lungs into the head. Try to really stand your shoulders back and tall. Singers, in general, use the diaphragm a lot because it helps to support the sound. But I would like very much in the future to talk with you or work with you for my breathing. <laughs> No, darling, I said, well, let's have a cup of tea and discuss it. <laughs> it doesn't mean a thing. No, look, if I come running in the house and go, I can't see what I need to know, and it's hard to know me for it. I have to go home to run. My arm is erfüllt and so big. You're about to have a gesprochen, yeah? Okay. Yeah, young, 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 young. Okay. You've had very good training. You have a couple of little things that'll do. Sure. Part of it will improve by doing it many times. Yes. You're intelligent, you listen to yourself, you correct your own mistakes. Your glauben can be nice. And you know, I feel this last phrase is just reflective. As though she's walking up the hall saying, imagine me. Yeah, I can't believe it, I can't. It's all a dream. So it doesn't have to be so loud. Ich kann sich waschen nicht When we sing, we feel you have to go like that. So that, uh, you know, when you speak, it's not a high note, is it? Ich kann nicht was mir behind the teeth, glow, and then drop your jaw a little to give it a little space and relax the the, the vibrato. Then, but you don't have to go. Because you're stuck in the jaw, you can't do anything with it. Then, that that's one of the big problems of, of young singers and the bridge of the nose. If you Feel it. Your nose is stiff right here. They're going to sound that way. <laughs> They're going to say, oh, my God, I'm sorry, I got sinus trouble. I, I apologize, but you know how it is. <laughs> you have to feel, and the way I explain it, if you feel that you have air between the, the skin and the, and the bone, then you've got the back of your nose open. It's as simple as that, and you'll never have sinus trouble. Mm. You, it's, like a, it's like yoga. You learn to, to, to control the back of the nose. You don't pinch off the back of the nose, because what you do, in fact, is pull a blind down on the voice. All your bears will say, mm, listen to my voice, isn't this absolutely wonderful? It sounds great in the head. It's great in the head, but it doesn't carry more than ten rows. pleasures that you're giving something to an audience and you see an immediate reaction and very few professions do this for you.